everybody. I'm here at my uh, folks' house, sitting in the backyard on this lovely Friday afternoon. It is blazing hot. It is like 90, or like in the low 90s here, and you can really feel it. You feel the sun. Uh, I should probably be wearing some sunscreen. My dad dropped some off the other day, um, and I found some. Cause I, I, I don't. You, you, you really should wear it all year, but. Um, I don't usually wear it in the winter just because you never think of wearing sunscreen in the winter. I I, I really need, need to start being more diligent about the sunscreen. Anyway, um, went to Big Lots today um, and also PetSmart. Big Lots. Oh my gosh. I was looking for like specific items. They don't like um, they don't they didn't have exactly what I was looking for but you know I kind of got something that would work um, for my exercise uh, I wouldn't call it equipment just exercise accessories at home um, I got that cat food um, I have to stuck up on cat food um, that's pretty hard with the shortages on that uh, I did get a little food I didn't spend a lot on food because I you know I've been spending a like I mean, I always say when I go to the store each week, oh, I don't need that much. I have so much I can cook in my apartment. But then I always end up spending money on food because it's like so hard with recipes, you know. It's like you you never, I mean, I rarely have all the ingredients for these recipes that I want to try. And, and it ends up, like especially with spices, it ends up costing me like at Albertsons. Uh, way too much uh, for these spices so I, I used to get them either Walmart or Dollar Tree I haven't been going to Walmart I'm just not happy with the price increases there but um, it's not my favorite place to shop um, but I'll go there if I need to they do have a decent grocery section at both of the Walmarts in Santa Fe the small one and the big one they do have a, a lot of produce and a lot of good stuff that um, it's kind of hard to find actually uh, here in Santa Fe, but um, so I got. Let's see. I I'm gonna do the haul videos when I get home. I'm pro I might possibly stop at Salvation Army. I have never been to the Salvation Army here in Santa Fe. Um, it's it, I lived pretty close to a Salvation Army in back in my hometown of Oak Park near Chicago. And I really found some pretty darn cheap stuff, um, like t like t-shirts you wouldn't find like just random like anywhere else, um, <laughs> for like ninety cents. Seriously, t-shirts for like under a dollar, and they they were decent. I mean, they they were in pretty good condition. So I think I might check out the Salvation Army just to just to check it out and see what they have. Um, yeah, so. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm probably going to check that out on the way home. Um, I had to cancel an appointment for today. Uh, salon appointment just because of my low funds. Um, Salvation Army. I should be able to find something I'm looking for. I want to... <laughs> this is really silly and goofy, but I wanted to do a dress-up day, you know, at, uh, at home. Maybe go outside and take some pictures. I wanted to dress up like Mary Poppins. That was always like... One of my favorite movies as a as a kid. I mean, I thought it was cute and all that. <laughs> I watched it as a kid. I didn't. I don't think I saw the Mary Poppins Returns, but I wanted to look for like some of those items. You don't really need a lot for the costume, but I don't know how easy to find those those items. Uh, I'd need a special kind of like umbrella, and um, I only have one umbrella at home. It's not the right kind. Uh, like a bow tie, certain shirt and skirt and hat <laughs> it's just like uh i guess i you know you can find all that stuff online but my amazon account got messed up when i uh lost my phone and had to so i'm gonna have to um get back get that set up again um but i mean i'll probably be able to find at least something very similar because i was able to f find some frida Kahlo. uh similar to Frida Kahlo style uh, things for my Halloween costume last year um, so I was able to find that at another thrift store in Santa Fe um, but I really am looking forward to going to Salvation Army it it should be interesting and uh, there is a, also a Goodwill in Santa Fe I I liked the one where I lived in in Chicago in Illinois but um, they're, they're close kind of close to where I live but it was 
Yeah, I mean, with clothes and stuff, you know, that's that's tricky. Um, buying clothes at a thrift store like that. But it was, my mom says the one here in Santa Fe is not that great, but I think Salvation Army is just probably the cheapest uh, thrift store. I mean, at least in, with my experience in, in Chicago. Um, so, yeah. So, um, just enjoying the sunshine, and uh, I don't enjoy the intense heat, but... Um, for Father's Day next weekend, now, my dad's sitting in the living room behind the door there, um, so I don't want to say it too loud, but I, um, I really wanted to do a special painting, uh, on a canvas, uh, for Father's Day as a gift, you know, I like to, I actually give my, my parents art for either birthdays or Mother's Days and Father's Days, um, rather than buy them a fancy gift, they don't, particularly want that for me they know I'm on a tight budget they don't particularly care or need or want uh, fancy gifts for their special days so a lot of times I just give or make them art and um, so I'm probably going to do that I'm going to need to uh, get some uh, get a canvas get a new canvas kind of a large one and um, um, and some uh well, I don't know. I might have some watercolor. I think I'm going to do a watercolor painting. Um, I love that medium. I love watercolors. And uh, that would be a pretty awesome um, gift. And they, they appreciate things from the heart more than, you know, spending a lot of money. Um, so anyway, that's... Oh, and for Father's Day, I think we're going to uh, go back to that tra uh, train town. Well, it is a train town. That's... Uh, that Lammy where I visited uh, last weekend, um, there's a restaurant, it's like the lone restaurant in that little small town, uh, across from the Amtrak station, it's, uh, it's got a, like, it's like a saloon, western style restaurant, kind of like the one in, uh, Cerritos that I went to last week, um, and, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably go to that, but it's, it's only open Friday through Sunday, um, only open on the weekends, so, and you really need, re reservations are recommended. Um, another, let's see, another, oh, another plan maybe in the works for July is a five-hour road trip to, um, southwestern part of New Mexico, a place called Silver City, maybe the Gila Wilderness. I don't know about the Gila Wilderness forest because that's probably closed because of the fires, which is, it's a little ways from Silver City, but we're probably going to explore. There's like a ghost town called Mo Mogollon. I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation. Mogollon, New Mexico, uh, down in that area. And uh, I've never been to, so like, well, I've never really been to southern, well, I get, no, I have. I, I take that back. I've been to White Sands and Alamogordo, and I've been to and Cloudcroft, and I've also been to um, Roswell, which is, I guess, considered uh, southern New Mexico. That's like more southeastern New Mexico. Never been to Las Cruces, never been to southwest New Mexico, so this Silver City is really interesting to me, and I'm eager to, uh, eager to see what it has to offer. It's, it's just... I research and it's, it, it seems pretty interesting place and it's it's not big it's probably like a little over 9,000 population which is pretty small um, so we'll see it's kind of tentative right now because um, but July is probably when you know my dad mentioned it today and uh, that would be awesome I mean I'm not since I took a couple big trips last year and then another one to Vegas in March I'm not really up to a big vacation this year um i don't need one but going on a five hour road trip is five hours um from santa fe it's a pretty long drive um from santa, fe, from santa fe but it's it's it promises to uh it promises to have things to offer things for filming things like that okay well that should do it um for my update, this is an update video, and then I'm going to combine it with the uh, hauls that I did today. Well, the haul at PetSmart. PetSmart, I had, I'm like a Met preferred member or whatever, and I bought four cans of cat food for only 54 cents, which was amazing. I had like two or three dollars in points that I earned there from shopping there and spending a lot of money. <laughs> so I got four cans of cat food for like 54 cents, and then I got, um, 
seven cans of cat cat food, smaller ones at uh, Big Lots. So I should be okay for a little while, not too long, because he really likes to eat. <laughs> um, and the smaller cans of cat food is what they usually have at these stores. So. Anyway, that should do it. I'm gonna have some water. Uh, if I can get it, it is, I am parched, so I'm gonna have some water, uh, maybe, maybe have a little snack or sandwich here before I go back, and, um, yeah, so you guys all take care, and I'm going to combine this update video with my haul videos, um, maybe I'll film outside Salvation Army, I don't know, um, but we'll see, all right, take care. Well, hello everyone. I'm outside the Salvation Army store in Santa Fe. And this is my first time coming here to the one in Santa Fe. So I just, I found some things that I've been looking for. And it only cost me for these two things $5. So I got this pitcher for water. This pitcher I believe was $2. And I've been looking for a bread basket. I mean, this is a little large, but, well, maybe not. Maybe it will fit all my, any bread. <laughs> Since I eat and use a lot of, buy a lot of bread, so I just wanted to have, like, a bread basket. Um, so this was $3, and the picture was $2. So, yeah, that is what I bought, and I'll do more haul stuff uh, when I get home. Um, and little bit but I'm not too far from now so I will uh, see you guys well hello everybody this is the last portion of my Friday video usually always do I try to always do them on Tuesdays and Fridays for sure and then when I go places and do other things um, interesting things I try to film even not on Tuesday and Friday but anyway um, this is my haul for today I know it doesn't look like too much but I did spend probably, let's see here, $59 today. Uh, so anyway, oh, and the cat food, yeah. I never really show the cat food because it's, you know, I have to take it all out of the, all the little cans out of the bag and everything, but just to let you know, I bought cat food at Big Lots and um, also PetSmart, and I got a really good deal on the, with my points at PetSmart. Anyway, uh, so this is the haul. Um, I guess I'll show you what I got at Big Lots first. I got, I've never tried these. I wanted to get some granola. I haven't had granola in a long time. But these are Crazy Monkey Baking Cookie Clusters. <laughs> you can see those are like, mo and mocha flavor. Let me see how much they were. Two, $2.59, I think. Um, Anyway, so they're mocha, I guess they're like little granola cookies or something. I'm going to try these. I wanted to have, if I'm going to have sweet treats around my apartment, I want it to be semi-healthy for me. Um, so that's that. I got all these drinks at a big lot. Aloe vera, this is a watermelon flavor, I believe. There's a watermelon on here. Um, Aloe vera king premium aloe vera water yes you can drink aloe vera water now or aloe vera juice it's awesome and this is the original flavor okay aloe vera i always like to use for uh sunburns it's awesome for sunburns it really takes away the pain mountain dew amp like caffeine the aloe vera is non-caff no, no caffeine <laughs> And this is a monster watermelon. I love watermelon flavor of anything. I had some watermelon yesterday. Toilet paper, Big Last brand. Slippers. I needed a new nice pair of comfy slippers. And I got these. I don't remember how much they were. I think like 10 or 12. I'm not sure. This it's actually a cat toy and it kind of jingles inside but i i wanted to get some tennis balls for some foot exercise foot strengthening exercises i mean you can i guess i mean we have to go online or something or a sporting goods store to get these like aerobic ball or i don't know what they're called actually there's balls for your feet and you do exercises with them to strengthen your feet 
I've been doing a lot of exercises here at home lately and watching a lot of exercise videos. But anyway, I asked the, lady, the clerk in Big Lost, but she said, no, we don't have any tennis balls right now. Um, but you can get a pet toy that's kind of the same. My cat's not really that much into toys, but this is a knitty kitty, so it's knitted. But I guess I can use this on my foot. I think that was like five fifty. dollars One of my favorite pretzels. I couldn't find the, the flavor I wanted, but I also love garlic and garlic parmesan. So that's a good flavor. Some uh, Shopkins tissue. I ran out of Kleenex, of course, because... It's allergy season. <laughs> so, you know, it's a this was only, I think, $1.50. Got some feminine hygiene. Uh, self care. Self care. Um, anyway, and this is Bolts. Red milk flour. This is almond flour now. I was actually a little surprised to find it at um, um, Big Lots. <laughs> Oh, and I mentioned that Taco Bell, which is like kind of kitty corner from uh, um, Big Lots, and it is actually still in business. They're kind of remodeling the outside. The drive through is open, so they're just like painting the outside of it, and they had taken the signs down. I thought it might be like closed or abandoned or something, but it is not. So unfortunately, I won't be able to film that. It's still open for the drive through Okay, I think that's all I bought at um, Big Lots and, yeah, at Big Lots. And, of course, I showed you this. I did part of the video where um, I showed you what I got at Salvation Army. I was outside Salvation Army, and I got this water pitcher, which I'm going to have to put in the dishwasher. And see, everything is in this bread basket. So, um yeah, I, I'm going to get, I mean, all, like, at Salvation Army, seriously, it cost me just $5 for this uh, pitcher, water pitcher, or drink pitcher, anything, Kool-Aid, whatever, um, and the bread basket, only $5 for, like, together for both of them, so that was good. Um, and I got the cat food, and I think that's everything. I know I call these hauls. I know I really don't, I see... I see a real haul videos where they buy a lot because uh, they have families to feed and, um, you know, but it's just me and my cat. So, I mean, my hauls aren't as big, but to me, they're hauls because I feel like I'm spending so much money and it's just really tough. It's really tight. But if I can save at least $5 from uh, my spending each twice a week, then I'm happy and, you know, it leaves me money to go get a soda at the convenience store down the street or, you know, take the bus somewhere and film. I mean, if I have at least five, I have to have at least five and then I'm happy and I guess satisfied. So, okay, that's the haul for today. I'm going to finish my other drink, my other energy drink. Maybe make something to eat, I'm not sure. I, sh I want to open these chips. I'm not quite ready to do that yet. I want to really try these cookie clusters. I'm just curious what they're like. So anyway, that's it for now. I will see you guys all later. Take care, stay safe, and have a wonderful Friday evening. Happy weekend. Bye-bye.